All right, what's up, everybody? Afflicted Gamer here, and welcome back to the X Defiant server test session. First up, I want to thank Ubisoft, of course, for this gift. And as you know by now, for those of you that have been watching the videos at least, I have partnered with them to produce this content for all of you. Now, I know that PvP isn't a thing that I typically cover aside from. Uh, gameplay and vigor which is much different than this so I wanted to give my final thoughts overall on this game from what I've experienced over this last test session <clears throat> first up I know a lot of people wanted this game to come out right away and if you've played the test session I'm sure that you're for the most part, glad that they didn't rush this out the door. One, you have to respect the devs because they actually care. Because if they would have rushed this out the door in the current state, then the player base would fall off very, very quickly. There are some issues that they still have to iron out. Hit registration is one thing. Bullets go flying around corners like in the movie Wanted with Angelina Jolie and James McAvoy. You know, uh, sometimes it's like, it's two bullets to kill you, but then you have to unload a whole mag into someone. The spawns need to be worked on. They, to me, resemble COD. You know, your team spawns in one spot, and if you take just a moment to kind of look around or anything, the enemy team is spawning right behind you after that. I had an instance, and I, I mentioned this in, in another video, but I'll say it again in case you didn't see it. Uh, we were playing on one of the division maps, and I was shooting a cleaner, which is kind of poetic, which is kind of cool. But the person that I was shooting vanished, and then another person popped up in front of me and killed me. So, yeah, the, the servers and the netcode, the, they still have to do some work on that for sure now uh, I, I don't get out you know the other open beta they had things seem to run quite well so I don't I don't know what's what they changed or why but regardless I would rather have them let them cook with this and and perfect it before releasing it and next up the cod killer topic why does this game have to be a cod killer why can't two good things coexist at the same time you can like call of duty and you can like x defiant at the same time it's like the playstation and xbox war it, it's so silly and childish to me that I, I just i don't understand it just because you like one platform more than another it doesn't mean it's that, that one is better than the other you just have a personal preference so I, I think that that whole debate and that whole here's an ex god killer like why who you know why does that even need to be a thing I, I don't understand that mentality bunny hopping <laughs> it has got to be one of the most infuriating things to come into multiplayer games like call of duty fortnite uh, here it's in x defiant it's insane it like people it looks like they are jumping two feet off the ground you know i almost uploaded a video uh, called <laughs> x defiant bunny hop the game because i played occupy and that's all you saw and it wasn't just the enemy team it was my team you know, as soon as the spawn and the gates open, it's time to go. They're bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. I'm like, you're you're just starting to walk out of the gate to go to the objective, and you're already bunny hopping. Why is that? Like, please, Ubisoft, I'm begging you, take bunny hopping out of this game. It's infuriating to deal with and i know i'm not the only one that feels that way the only people that don't feel that way are the bunny hoppers i get it uh, people say well it, it makes it harder for you to kill the target 
but it just looks so stupid and obnoxious. I just, I don't, I don't get it. And then uh, there's a, even a perk in COD that incentivizes it. These gloves that allow you to jump and then have better aim. Please don't do that in this. Uh, I think more people dislike it than they like it. Crossplay. If you're on console, I just want to go up against other console players. I know they have input to input, which is fantastic. But if you're on a high-powered PC getting 120 frames per second versus a PS5 or an Xbox Series X getting 60, that's a difference. You know, and there's an FOV slider, so if you have one of those wide monitors, the PC players can get an advantage over the console players. So just give people the option to play against who they want to. If they want to go up against PC, that's totally fine. But if they don't, at least give them the option to go console to console. I, I just think that that would be fair. So... Uh, and then, yeah, of course, the, the servers still need a bit of work. Uh, they need to be a bit more stable. The mini-map, I, I honestly don't even know what the point is, because I barely ever see a red dot. I have no clue where the enemy is coming half the time. I think I've seen a, a little red marker pop up once like this is just supposed to be an arcade shooter you know it's not something like escape from tarkov that you need to take extremely serious so yeah i want to know where the enemies are you know there's times where okay i see a bit of red on the map ahead that direction but then i get shot in the back because that's actually where the team is uh, that does not make any sense to me you know i, I want to know where they are and the other thing in regards to engagements is footsteps there are no audio cues whatsoever as to where your enemy is. It is like the enemy team has permanent dead silence on, and if you aren't running, you just hear a little pitty patter, pitty patter, pitty 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 pitty, you know, of your own feet. That that's all that you hear. You don't hear if an enemy's coming up behind you. They could walk right up to you without you being able to hear it. And then shoot you in the back. <sighs> Again, it's really, really hard to <laughs> to deal with and to try to have fun in these situations and scenarios. So that's why I'm really, really happy that the team decided to postpone. And I get delays suck. They're very frustrating, especially when it's a game that you're looking forward to. I know I'm... Ever since COVID, it, every time I hear a delay now, I'm just I'm just so sick of it. <laughs> but sometimes it's they they just have to happen, you know. In terms of the match that you're watching in the background, uh, this is one where I had my buddy Cam with me, but he didn't have his audio on, and it was actually a pretty funny match. And although it doesn't look like I'm doing all that great, <laughs> this was one of my better matches. Uh, I'm not a PvP player by heart, but I do like to play COD and stuff like that uh, a bit here and there as casual fun. I don't take it too serious. I don't care if my name's at the top of a leaderboard. I don't need a 5.0 KD or anything like that. If I'm going positive, I'm happy. I just want to chill and have fun. I don't want to sweat. I don't want to have to take Adderall and G Fuel just to be dialed in, looking 360 degrees at all times to see who's where, what, when, why. Just want to have a good time. So I hope that once all the kinks are ironed out, that this game will strive and thrive i meant to say sorry and we'll do well because there is a lot of fun to be had once these issues get worked out and if you it's something you want to see me play and cover in the future i will just let me know by dropping a like on the video and if not that's totally fine i will play it in my spare time like i do cod and some other stuff but 
For now, that's it for me. That's my final verdict on X Defiant. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Consider subscribing for more content, Division 2, Vigor, possibly this, and I'll see you soon in the next one.